Um, the next one is from uh, just some random email guide, and the subject is the subject is deserves better. Um, Hello, K100 crew. Over the past week, in true 2020 fashion, a movement took place called hashtag Naomi deserves better. Fans and WWE superstars post with the hashtag about how Naomi should be champ. In an age of PC culture, statue teardowns, and knee jerk reactions, what exactly does Naomi deserve? She's a former women's champion, has received considerable pushes in the past, and she has dealt with injuries that preempted further success due to time off. In reaction, Booker T eloquently responded to the movement, stating in summary that she needs to work hard and earn another title just like every other talent. Booker T was buried by both fans and even WWE superstars on Twitter after his comments. Yeah. Question, what do you think of Booker T's comments, and why or why not does Nomi deserve better? Thanks, Can guys. I- Derek for Virginia. Go okay, ahead. before you continue, I didn't know about this or hear about this. I heard Joe react to it. I mean, he just got off the fucking thing. Yo, Joe. Yo. <clears throat> do you have any reactions from superstars on Booker T's comments or the actual comments or anything yeah. like that? Because I know nothing of this. We talked about wanna... it. Take, take a wild guess. Because I want to who... be able to react to what. <laughs> yeah. Right. <clears throat> Pull it. Okay. I'm, I'm going to give you. Okay. So another girl. On the roster tweet, I'm gonna give you this <laughs> quiz. Okay, since you know nothing about it, okay? Yeah, that's right. what I was gonna I say. Know Another girl about- on the roster <clears throat> tweeted basically. I'm not gonna tell you the, 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 exactly what the tweet said. Actually, read the tweet, Joe. Do you have it? You know who I'm talking yeah, about. That's I'm like, scrolling. I'm scrolling okay, through read the tweet, but don't now. tell me who said who, who said it. So Booker T just made All comments. Right. Hey, you need to work hard. Yep. Like he did. You know, <laughs> like Booker. Like, but you're not gonna like credits like Booker T trying to tell you what you need to do to become a sex in this right. business. The guy's a walking, talking poster boy for how you're supposed to do it champion He's two-time very Hall of Famer. skilled yeah. very charismatic mid card for a while and finally because of his ability and working hard and, and doing good entertainment he broke through the grass bless you okay so read, right. read the so so and naomi basically say that so so booker t kind of criticized that say yeah. hey, hey you need to work hard you know do you have, don't be, do you have yes here's the t- i have the okay. tweet have, from the booker t statement actual statement okay i i can read that yeah booker t yeah. saw the hashtags and he as usual, had something to say about it on his recent episode of his podcast. Naomi deserves a chance. They can go to hell with all these hashtags. I'm tired of hearing about them. Don't nobody deserve a chance. You have to earn a chance on your spot on the roster. This is not some kind of movement just to pull somebody up just because. I hate to say this because I like Naomi, but as far as the business goes, you get it on your merit alone. There is no buddy system. Well, such and such has a buddy, and that's why they're doing it. That might be true, but life is not fair. Sometimes you have to make your own breaks and rise to the occasion when no one else thought you could. It may not happen overnight. No one expected me to become a six-time champ, but my persistence of going out there and performing better than all those suckers in the locker room, and they knew it, and the fans saw something different. That's why I say hashtag Naomi deserves better. I don't think it serves her any purpose, people advocating her in that way. The way that needs to be put out there is her advocating for herself and performing at a high level. When you do that, you cannot be denied. No one will ever say you were given anything. If it happened tomorrow, someone blessed Naomi with the championship, trust me, would not feel like she did it on her own. I would have never won at the world title if it was given to me that way. Naomi is perhaps more athletic than every female in the locker room, but psychology and working are two different things. If I had my hands on her for one, for one month, Naomi would look at this business a totally different way. Okay, uh, so then... Okay, let me just say this. Wait, I no, no, want, don't, 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 but, but let me just say this. I 1,000% agree with everything he said, and that's the problem we have in today's society and in wrestling. A lot of these young cats, not all of them, are very entitled, and yeah. they feel they deserve something just because they've been. And it happens in AAA. I'll have people say, well, I've been here 10 years. I've been here 12 years. I don't give a fuck if you've been here 50 years, bro. If you're not fucking – if you're not at the at the level that we need, that's where your push is going to be. And and they'll be like, well, this guy just came – you know, this guy just came into AAA. And I'm like, well, he doesn't need to be here nine years. He just came in and he's over. Guess what? He's getting pushed. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I agree with with uh, Booker T. Go ahead. So here's, anybody from our generation agrees with that. Here's the yeah. tweet that Disco is referencing. But there it. is a sense of entitlement because I'm a woman, yeah. or I'm a trans, or I'm Latino, or, and what or they I'm do this, is, or I'm. Yeah. And this is the thing, okay? Among this generation, they look at that as like you know, it's like a, a, a maybe like kind of a way. To get them over, you know, like, like hey, hey, we'll put we'll, we'll put the hashtag up. We'll do, you know, some like, yeah, you know, we'll get a. But like people, uh, you know, outside the box looking in, say, look, look, you guys are trying to bully her into the picture with, with the social media push. The way you get over is TV ratings and fan reaction. Period. 
Those are the only two things that need to be measured. It's like if you try to get your people to try to shove you into a spot because you think right, but you're, think, you're better than you are, it doesn't really I work think, like that. But you know? I think here's a problem. Also, people have seen for many years people pushed that weren't that talented or were friends of the bookers or favorites of the booker, and people get tired of that bullshit too. And I think when they saw Lacey Evans – who's been given 1 million chances, just like Dana Brooks has been given 1 million chances, just like Lana has been given 1 million chances. Lana got over once with that fucking rule shift thing when she came out in the red power yes, dress. They right. should have never taken it out of that. They fucked that up, right. okay? Dana Brooks, to me, has never gotten over. Lacey Evans, to me, has never gotten over. She's got a good look and she's good on the mic. But I think when people saw her come in and beat Noemi in three minutes, they're like, oh, yeah, they're favoring the white girl or whatever their right. mentality was, you know? But, <laughs> yeah. Go, go ahead. Okay, well, so, I was say, go fit. okay well, here, no, here's the thing. Well, okay, listen to this. So here's what, what Disco was saying was, I'll read the tweet and you try to guess who it was. Okay. Right? okay. No, 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 but I want to give Phil what he's saying. Go ahead. Go ahead. Perfect example. Oh, okay. It's like this. What these people don't realize is it doesn't matter what me and all my Twitter fans and the hashtaggers, people hashtagging think. Right. You got to impress the boss. Right. And when the boss is driving a narrative on his television show of what your character is and stuff, everything, when you go on Twitter and complain about that and break that, there is a long history of group people getting buried. Let me be a perfect example. Lana was actually, what was everybody talking about? Lana. Oh, God, that she's hot. The Russian thing. I don't even care. She's not Russian. She's there. Right. Then, then what did she do? Oh, me and Rusev are getting married. Here's our honeymoon. Here's our thing. Like, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not what, the way we were pushing you on TV. You were a Russian, you know, thinking her, and she like, broke the, the narrative. What happened to her after that? Yeah, and since, I also, since then, and I, and since I, also, then, and right? I also heard, and this is another thing that, as you know, this is like these WWE unwritten rules that you don't know about. That I think she <laughs> went it right, but she went off on him one day, like dressed him down in front of everybody, and he never did anything, and they kind of thought like wow you know you let her you know what i'm saying right fucking punk you you know and, and he who? got vincent man rusev rusev oh she punked rusev yeah yeah mm. yeah well yes. i well before i read the tweet i just did a little wikipedia research here and i wanted to say naomi's been under contract for 11 years she won the women's championship <laughs> at wrestlemania she's been a star on total divas for like six seven seasons and they've used her in a movie so that's not you know what I mean? That's not nothing. But uh, the quote that Disco was talking about, and we'll see if Conan can guess who it guess is. Guess the quote. Yeah. This tweet says, Don't feed into useless opinions no matter who they come from. Keep glowing and shining like you always do. You ain't got nothing to prove to anyone. Take a while, guess what female wrestler that was. Is this, I mean, is she in WWE? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sasha. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. So she does. Her, she's got a, she's so got a big her, mouth, man. So you know? to her, Booker's... Opinion is useless. Useless. Sure, sure sounded like that, didn't it? That mess with the exact words she used. Maybe she could say. Maybe she she, she didn't call him out. You know, she and, and, and this she's is talking about other. But it was in reference to that tweet. This, this is something. That, that statement. You know? And this is something that Booker said that I told you the other day. And this is what a lot of people do not understand that they think they understand wrestling. Remember when I was telling you that one of the problems that Luchasaurus had was he was super athletic, but he didn't know how to work. Right. That's what he just said about Naomi. Yeah. There's a difference between being athletic and knowing how to work. Right. Huge difference. It's like if you're athletic and you're saying, hey, look at this. Look at what I can do. Right. And like you do it just for the sake of doing it. Right. And it's not in the context of anything like a psychology or match. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. Like you can, right. bro, like you said, like, like the, a lot of work these days. Guys have an idea for – guys come into the building with an idea for a spot, right? And, and the other guys come in with ideas for – and this is like wrestling today. I mean you can see because you're in the locker room. You know they come into the building with, with, with new things they want to do. Right. Then they all get together, and because they integrate all their new things that they wanted to do, and given the time you've been given and the finish and everything, a lot of it doesn't make sense. But all you did was show, hey, look how athletic we are. Right, and at the end of the match, it's what you go. Yeah, these guys are athletic. <laughs> I don't know why did you do that there? Why did you do that there? And that's what Booker's saying, and that that's where the psychology in wrestling today is lost because people are more athletic. You could do a million more things, but you don't have to do them all in one match. Bro, you have to do, like, you know, let so me few, let me tell you yeah. something, Disco. One of the last matches that I wrestled in uh, AAA, it was incredible because everybody was just like, "How did you do that?" And it was so incredible because <clears throat> everybody came in, did their high spots. Right. I came in the minute I came in, everybody was booing me. Right. 
And all I did was something very simple. I just slid out. They got even madder. I was going to the dress room. They got even madder. Okay. Yeah, puto, you're a bitch. You're an old man. They were mad. They wanted. I finally came back in, came right back out again. Then the place was fucking. They wanted me to get killed. You know what I'm saying? Right. And everything I did, I just had to do one or two things. And I just worked the crowd. And I was like, bro, look, that that's I know that, you know, I have all this years in the business, but you know, if you learn from an early age at how to work the crowd and the little nuances on how to work, you don't have to do as much and you don't have to risk getting hurt. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. But uh uh yeah, no surprise in the Sasha Banks. Huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one's from Chris Karcher. Uh, and, e- and imagine now her and the other one both are double champions. Yeah. Yeah. 